FPC t-shirt, and a selection of exciting Poker Run DVDs. Contact our clubhouse in Pompano Beach, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter at FL Powerboat, or just check us out online. Every year in February, hundreds of thousands of visitors from around the world set their sights on Miami to check out the latest in boats, yachts, marine accessories, and virtually anything that is even remotely related to the boating lifestyle. With three enormous locations and thousands of exhibitors attending, you'll just have to visit yourself if you want to see it all. But for those who fancy those fast, colorful machines we call offshore powerboats, Here's a quick glimpse of all the highlights as we visited with our friends and colleagues that represent the leading manufacturers in the performance boating world. Of course, there was plenty of action around the Florida Powerboat Club booth in the convention center where Greg and Steve from the world of boating joined Stu Jones to record a live radio show for Sirius Satellite. With the exciting nightlife of Miami Beach's Art Deco District just a few blocks away, Florida Powerboat Club staged the 14th annual Miami Boat Show Bash at the landmark Clevelander Hotel. Every year, this big bash is recognized as one of Florida Powerboat Club's leading social events, where club members, show visitors, and all of the key players from the performance marine industry gathered for a festive evening with a South Beach flair. The party featured spectacular Caribbean dancers and a sizzling swimwear showcase that highlighted fashions from big names like Venus Swimwear and Ricochet. It's time to get back to our Poker Run teams as they head for Power Boating Paradise in the Florida Keys. We are now back at Sea Lion Marina in Miami with the second group of Power Boats departing on the 12th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. It's a beautiful Friday morning as close to 70 teams and over 300 participants are loading the boats, checking the engines, polishing the decks, and preparing for a weekend of fun in the Florida Keys. Perhaps one of the most impressive sights at the beginning of the run is the mile-long powerboat parade that stretches all the way from the American Airlines Arena, past the cruise ships and Bayside Marketplace, all the way to the Rickenbacker Causeway. Now picture this, it's Friday morning about 11 a.m. There's literally thousands of people working in those big skyscrapers in downtown Miami, and out of nowhere comes this rumbling parade of colorful fiberglass. I wonder how many corporate meetings were interrupted today. The official pace boat for today's run belongs to Tony and Mona Mandazi from South Florida who have been Florida Powerboat Club members for nearly a decade. American Muscle 2 is a 46 cigarette powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. This is Frank and Janine D'Agostino from New Jersey who joined the poker run in their 46 Outer Limits Team Liquidator. Power you ask? You guessed it, a pair of Mercury Racing 1075s.
If you've been counting, that's three in a row from Outer Limits. Bill Pyburn Jr. from Jacksonville has been known to keep quite a stable of offshore toys, and his latest is this 47 Outer Limits GTX called Riding Dirty. George Kovacs hails from Miami, and over his 12-year tenure as a Florida Powerboat Club member, he's owned every performance boat imaginable. But the one he seems to be enjoying the most is this outstanding 42 MTI with colorful graphics and big Mercury racing power. Here's another sleek, colorful MTI cat. The only difference is that this one's a 44 and uses an entirely different drive and steering system than its 42-foot sister ship. Owner Keith Johnson has become very active on the poker run scene in recent years, and if you recognize that team logo, you've probably visited one of his Florida nightclubs bearing the same name. You won't see many fountains throwing out a rooster tail like this. Mike Sands is in his 42 Poker Run Edition powered by Mercury Racing 600 SCIs. What's unique on this boat is the stern drive setup, which is the Mercury Racing ITS system. Gary and Sherry Crouch have a great story to tell, so I'll just tell it for them. They met on one of these poker runs a while back, discovered they shared the same passion for boating, and now they're happily married and sharing the waterways together. Roar Hadland came all the way from Norway to enjoy the poker run and a tropical escape to the Florida Keys. He also took delivery of his new Nortec 36 Supercat, which will soon be shipped overseas to his homeland. This is another Nortec 36 Supercat piloted by Nortec's National Sales Manager, Terry Sobo. What's unique about this colorful cat is the silent exhaust system that was developed by Nortec, which keeps the decibels down without sacrificing any speed or performance. John Betancourt travels all the way from Massachusetts to join these powerboat runs in his triple engine Fountain 47 Lightning. He's got an A for attendance with the club. It's been three poker runs in a row now. Gino Gargiulo loves his 39 MTI so much, he says it rides like nothing else. And with experience as a former powerboat racer, he ought to know what he likes when it comes to his offshore powerboats. Ben and Kerry Payne love their Florida boating lifestyle so much, they renewed their faith in the sport by recently trading their 32-footer for this brand new 39 Velocity. This is Mark and Don Jamison from New Jersey in a 42 Outer Limits GTX named Shoot to Third. Brian and Laura Manning are from South Carolina and always make their poker run weekends a family affair, bringing along their three children. Naples couple Mike and Lori Smith just took delivery of their brand new Nortec 39V, making this the shakedown poker run for Problem Child. Charlie and Lois Amorosi from New Jersey jump from the Cat Clan to the V-Bottom world taking delivery of this new 39 Velocity. We'll be right back with more of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run on Power Boating in Paradise TV.